Hi everyone, it's Miss Michelle. So this week we are going to talk about earthworms. Earthworms are those long little creatures that we find in our gardens when we dig and plant flowers. Sometimes we see them on our driveways after it rains. So earthworms are a very important part of our environment. So we're going to start off today by reading a story about earthworms to give you an idea about things that they like to eat and what they look like up close. So we're going to have a story first and then I'm going to share some activities with you that are related to earthworms. And they're easy crafts that we can set up and I hope you have fun with them. So we are going to get started first with our story. Worms. You can see the picture of them up close. Hello, worms. Worms are animals with long bodies. Soft earthworms live in the ground. A worm's body is wet. It has rings or bands around it. And you can see on the picture, the rings that are around the earthworm. Worms can be brown, white, or pink. Worms do not have eyes, but they have five hearts. Worms eat dead plants and animals. They eat other small things. Some eat old food. A baby worm grows inside a cocoon. After the baby worm hatches, it crawls through the dirt. Worms make holes in the soil. Some worms come out at night. They like the rain too. Goodbye worms. Okay, now that we've had a quick story about earthworms, I'm going to show you some activities that you can do inside, rain or shine, um, and you'll just need a little bit of help from mom and dad getting them set up. So the first thing that I did is I made a paper earthworm. And I just took white paper and I cut it out and I colored it brown because I didn't have brown construction paper at home. And then what I did is I wrote the letters of my name along the earthworm. Now the next step, is going to be taking my scissors and I'm going to cut. I'm going to put my camera down so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to cut my earthworm and I'm going to make sure that I have one letter in each section. Now my name is all mixed up. What do I do? Well, I'm going to find the M, mm, that's the first letter. And I'm going to find all of the letters in my name and put my earthworm back together to spell Michelle. And what you can do is write your name on the earthworm or have mom and dad help and then either you or your mom or dad or an older brother or sister can cut the letters out of your name then you want to put your worm back together and you'll know that your worm is put correctly back together if it spells out your name correctly so that is one idea using the letters of your name now another idea is to write numbers on an earthworm that you have made. And again, you want to take scissors and cut each number out. And then you're going to put your worm back together, but you want to make sure that the numbers are in order. So we start with one, two, three, four, and five. And now my earthworm is all back together again. So that's a way to incorporate 
math and numbers. And I thank my friend, Miss Kelly, for those ideas. Now, another um, idea is to look at pieces of paper that are shorter, like this line, or longer. Often when we look at earthworms, we can see how long or short they are. So we can take some strips of paper like this, and I have different colors here. And then each piece of paper, either you or mom or dad can cut. Now, it does not have to be cut down the middle. It can be cut anywhere on the paper. So we're just going to cut each strip of paper and you can use five or six different colors if you have them or take white paper and color it five or six different colors. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find both pieces that are the same color that I just cut. So for instance, I have two pieces of pink paper. Now this paper is shorter than this paper, so I'm going to put it on the shorter side. This piece is longer, so I'm going to put it on the longer side. I have orange. Here's my shorter piece, and here's my longer piece. Purple. Hmm. This piece is shorter, so I'm going to put it on this side and put my longer piece on this side. Yellow. It's going to go shorter longer, shorter, longer, just like that. And when you go outside, maybe after it rains, you can look for earthworms in your driveway and you can look at them and see if they are short or long also. So these are just a couple of quick activities that you can try at home. And I hope you enjoyed the quick story about earthworms and are having a good week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.